some here. Their body's turning, look at me. You can see a little bit of left bum cheek. My body's rotated to get to that position. Right arm's lower than left. There, 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 to the good position. Right, we're on. It's quite a cold morning this morning, but we can deal with that. Today we're going to talk about a very important role that the right arm plays within the golf swing. Very much focusing on release today. So right arm in the golf swing, left arm also in the golf swing, and how to prevent flipping. So we're going to talk about a proper structured release, but right arm is the most important part of this. You're going to love it. Right before we start this video, if you enjoy the content that I bring twice a week to the channel, please consider subscribing, it's free of charge. Also hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos and click the thumbs up button, that helps me, it shares it around YouTube and it's great for the algorithm. Let's move on with the video, shall we? So the right arm in the golf swing, we know the right arm is a power accumulator, the right arm bending and straightening of the right arm. But we need to swing on plane, we need to release the club correctly to make sure the right arm works functionally. Having the function of the right arm working correctly is so important. Getting it to function in the correct manner can be done very simply with this drill. The drill here is very much, uh, it's done at eye level, it's done on in front of the body so we're not hitting a golf ball with this but then we'd also introduce it into hitting a golf ball because if we didn't what would be the point but strike's going to improve from this and so is direction distance control so dispersion left to right and front to back will improve and it's a simple one to follow so releasing the golf club so at impact there's an element of the right hand passing the left and people assume that's release now it is a release in some form when the right hand passes the left that is some form of a release but it can also be quite flippy the flip must be avoided at all costs, that's just going to produce some funky ball flight to the left. And a structured release has to be promoted. So if you take a golf club, and I swing the golf club in front of my body, without the body turning, then the right hand is going to pass over the left and it's going to flip. Arguably that is a release, golfers can play golf like that, and release and flip. Quite a common thing you see amongst amateurs. Most tour players though, they turn the body as they release. So when they get to this finished position here, or this measurable position where the club shaft is parallel to the ground, you'll see there that the body's turned. There's a nice Y shape between left arm, right arm and club shaft, but the club face hasn't flipped over. So there's not been a flipping action to get there. It's been a rotation of the body. So it's been a rotation of the body to hit that position past impact, which is a full release to get that ball to fly a nice straight line like that. Now you and I can do that, anyone can do that. And you probably don't believe me, how can you get into that tour pro position? Well we can, watch this. So notice when I do this, and I turn the body to get to that position there, and I've fully rolled over, the club face is parallel to my spine angle. I'm in a great position there now, I've not overdone it. So to there, you will notice that as I do this, and I get to my impact position which is there, nice flat left wrist, swinging from the left shoulder, club face square to the flat left wrist, but my right arm is lower than my left. Down the line, there, you can see my right arm is physically lower than my left, There's, you should be able to see some sort of air between my left arm and right arm, so there my right arm is lower than my left, and that is where every good tour player is. Now we're swinging on a level I plane here, so there, you can see it, and then I can continue through, but that right arm is lower than the left arm. And that's where the magic happens. Keeping the right arm lower than the left arm is much more structured. It's going to keep the shoulders a little bit more closed to impact or the sensation of them being closed to impact and give you an in-to-out path. The stretching or straightening of the right arm too early in the downswing means you come over the top and out to in. Stretching or straightening of the right arm on the way down is that action. So that effectively would be that. So the right arm is higher than the left. That's not good. It's very different than there. If I bring that down, that looks good. If I'm here and I bring this down, this does not look good. Does not look good, does it? <laughs> so let's try that. We have to then play, change the plane that we're swinging on to the angled plane of the golf swing. The golf swing. And moving that plane down is quite a simple access, or quite a simple process to do. It's easy to access. We just tilt everything down. We're basically taking baseball swings, ensuring the right arm is under the left, and then gradually bring it down to the golf ball. Tilting our spine angle as we go, so we're lowering the plane or changing the angle of the plane. I think I said the word plane about 12 times there. Only 12. <laughs> so I'm here. Their body's turning. Look at me. You can see a little bit of left bum cheek. My body's rotated to get to that position. Right arm's lower than left. There. There. There, to the good position, there, to the good position, there, there, tilting the spine, tilting, tilting, hitting golf ball, there. 
Now right arm is lower than the left. It should be an almost straight line from right elbow, down right forearm, down right club shaft to the sweet spot of the golf ball or the golf club. Boom, hitting ball with right arm lower than left. So I flattened the plane there, I was able to lower it, but dynamically doing it. Rather than just standing from a full golf position and trying to create that motion, I started here and worked my way down. And then eventually I'll have the feeling of that at impact, right arm lower than left. Oh no, there, there, right arm lower than left to be able to release so there's no flip. So there, there, right arm lower than left, no flip. Right arm lower than left, and then I can continue through right arm lower than left, continue through there, no flip. There's no, that's, that's just, it's gone. The flip's gone. The release is much more productive. It's done by the body, it's pivot driven. We understand the right arm is lower than the left to ensure we get that pivot driven release and not a flip. So again, there, right arm lower, right arm lower, and keep body turning, keep body turning, keep body turning, keep body turning, keep body turning. I'm changing the pitch. Good, and then I'm there at impact and continue through. Then I step up to repeat that right arm lower than left, keep turning. And again, I've hit exactly the same shot as I just did. A repeatable action, which is key when playing on tour. A little disclaimer, you might not get on tour doing this motion, but you'll certainly get closer to it. And when I say closer to it, I mean reduction in handicap. And of course that's, that's key. So then from just a full on golfing start, right arm lower than left, right arm lower than left, as the body turns, it's pointless doing this with the body not turning. Body turns, I feel as though shoulders are a little bit more closed at impact, they probably aren't, but that's a sensation we're looking for through impact. It's all feeling real is very different. I feel that, I'm not quite there, but we know this feeling real situation, don't we? So you feel the action, then you look it back on the camera and realize I'm not actually there, but then the ball flight's great, strikes much better, then keep feeling that motion. Right arm lower than left, right arm lower than left, right arm lower than left, keep turning, keep turning, right arm lower than left, keep turning, caught that a wee bit heavy as the wind got up, <laughs> god it's cold, let's do one more, start here, to feel, yep, yep, Yep. Yep. Keep turning through. Yep. It's pretty good. One more. I know where I am now. I'm happy with those. Those last two strikes weren't great. I know exactly where I want to be. Right there. And just keep hitting balls. Just keep hitting it to feel it and create it. There and then turning through so it's structured. Release, that was brilliant. Structured release, no flip. And there, structured release. There we go, we've got this now. Oh, it's just got cold. As soon as that sun goes away, it's freezing. Why was I raised in Scotland? What's going on here? So there we go, I hope that helps. Right arm position, how that works in the golf swing. How you can simply make the drill on the level, bring it down, play golf. Strike's gonna be better, and you're gonna be closer to playing on tour, I think.